All right, so first off, starting off, we're going to look at what is known as the 1961 Bugs Bunny Franklin Half Dollar. Now, if you want to know if you have a Bugs Bunny Franklin Half Dollar, here's an example of a 1955 Bugs Bunny Franklin Half Dollar. So basically, what is going on here, you can see it looks like he's got like, you know, like fang-like teeth coming out of Franklin's mouth. And that is die clash marks uh, taking place on these coins. So, always be on the lookout for that. Now, this coin is graded at a mint state 65, so that will give it a lot of value as well. Now, this coin here, because of that high grade, sold for over $500. So, 50 cent coin, 500 bucks. All right, so next up is going to be a 1961 D mint mark. Now, this coin is graded by PCGS at a mint state 66, and this coin also has full bell lines. So that means that the lines are extremely full and in detail. Now, here's an example of the difference between full bell lines as well as a weekly struck bell lines or almost no bell lines at all because it's worn down. And then uh, you got the minimum full bell lines details and just short of full bell lines. So you can really, really see the difference of those in the images displayed. So always be on the lookout for those because those with the high grade will give your coin some value. Now this coin sold for over $6,000. That's right, a $6,000 Franklin half dollar coin. Here's another example of that full bell line taking place on a 1961 no mint mark Franklin half dollar. And because of the high grade, this coin sold over $8,000. It's got some really nice toning to it as well, $8,000. Now if you want to look at a less expensive one, even at a Mint State 63, this coin only sold for a little over $30, so it's really, really got to be those high, really, really high graded coins. So even at a Mint State 63, 35 bucks. Now you also want to look for a repunched mint mark on the 1961D Franklin half dollar, so always be on the lookout for those. And then if we look at the proof half dollar, now here's a coin that sold for a lot of money. This Franklin half dollar is graded at a proof 69 deep cameo. So it's almost got a perfect grade as the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. And because of that high grade, this coin sold for over $40,000. That's right, 40 grand. Now also on your proof half dollars for 1961, you wanna look for a double die obverse and a double die reverse. So first, with the double die obverse, look for doubling on the front of the coin, of course, on the date, on the on all the lettering of the coin. Always, always be on the lookout for that. And then, of course, on the reverse, you got the phrase E pluribus unum. So look for doubling on that. You can really see it here in this image, extreme doubling taking place there. And then, of course, on the lettering as well. Now, if we look at this coin here, this is a 1961 proof half dollar that sold for over $2,000 because it's got that double die reverse and because it's got that proof 64 grade, that high grade. So always search your coin collection if you have any 1961 Franklin half dollars and look for these different types of errors that could give your coins some value. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.